Today, I'm going to give you six things you should never do with your mechanical watch. Let's get into it. Yes, and welcome to the Mad Watch Collector Show. In a world where it seems everything is either powered by a plug or a battery, a mechanical watch shines out in 2023 like Lionel's Sword of Omens. <laughs> Cogs, screws, pallets, pinions and jewels are cleverly arranged together like some sort of impossible micro puzzle to not only move together as one machine but help a set of hands move around a watch face to give you the time of day. And usually the more you spend on a mechanical watch the more accurate, refined and tougher they are. To help you navigate through the pitfalls of owning a mechanical watch I'm going to give you six never do's because if you do do you could be running the risk of damaging your mechanical watch. Wait until the last never do at the end. That one's a doozy. So let's get on with number one. So yes, I know a mechanical movement is a magical marvel, but never try to explain how a mechanical watch works to your partner that doesn't want to know. They don't give a shit. Trust me. I know it's really hard to hear, but that's just life. Just be thankful that they are happy because we are happy. And let's be fair, I think it's better they don't know about your mechanical watch because if they knew you could buy a 20 pound Casio that was more accurate than your 20 grand Rolex, I think you could be toast. Never try to set the date in the danger, danger zone. zone. That zone is between nine o'clock and three o'clock. Some movements start that date switching over as early as 9 p.m. And some don't finish until 3 a.m. So if you try and change the date in that danger zone you could run the risk of stripping those little teeth off those little cogs and not being able to ever set the date again. So if you do want to set the date just make sure the hands are below the nine and the three preferably at 6 30. Keep away from the danger zone. Never let your watch spend too much time with a magnet. Unfortunately magnets are like kryptonite to our mechanical watches. Think about how many tiny metal parts there are in a movement. If a watch is subjected to a long exposure of magnetic fields, your watch could lose or gain a lot of seconds. And if you're a bit OCD when it comes to accuracy in your mechanical watches, this will not be good for you. Phones, microwaves, laptops, TVs, they've all got magnets in. In fact, an iPad has over a hundred magnets inside it. Now the balance spring inside your movement regulates the ticks in your watch. And if that becomes magnetized, it ends up sticking to itself and that will make your watch either run slow or fast. Just make sure you never leave your watch on top of your laptop. Also, wherever you're storing your watches, make sure they're well away from any magnets. Not now, baby. Daddy's talking. <laughs> <laughs> Never overwind. This can be very damaging to your watch. Overwinding and you could potentially strip all the teeth off of gears and wheels that have a vital role transferring energy to other gears and wheels. Wind the crown until you feel a resistance and then stop. That way your beautiful mechanical engine will behave itself. If you have an automatic watch, that means you have an oscillating rotor that basically winds up the mainspring so you don't have to do any extra winding. If your automatic watch has stopped, just give it a little Seiko shuffle. And after that, it should be working beautifully. Um, could you just click that like button, please? It really helps the channel. Thank you. Never operate when wet. Yes, I am still talking about the movement. Now, if your watch has a screw down crown or has a water resistance of at least 50 meters, then it is fine to get wet. Go swimming, take a shower, and be confident that your watch will not get damaged. However, if you've just got out of the swimming pool or the shower and your watch is still wet, never pull out that crown and change the time or date. Chances are water or even water vapor will get inside of your watch and if it does it is catastrophic for that watch movement rust condensation on the inside of the crystal make sure that watch is dry before you want to operate it okay this is a big one for me a pet peeve don't be lazy never attempt to adjust your watch when it's still on your wrist now that 
tiny one millimeter thick stem that attaches itself to the movement is so thin and fragile. If you pull the crown out and pull it up at the same time, you could run the risk of bending the stem, thus making it difficult to screw back in. I've even heard stories where the stem breaks away from the movement. Take it off, give you and your watch some nice one-to-one -one time. And that'll give you two great bonuses. One, you'll set the time without breaking or damaging the movement. And two, you've just given yourself a cheeky little bonding session with your lovely watch. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. What a selection. What a list for you today. If you can obey these never-dos, I guarantee you're going to have a fun and long-lasting relationship with your mechanical watches. As you did watch till the end, I take it you liked it. And if you did, why don't you check out this show? <laughs> this one is spectacular. Go on, click it. Go on. Go on, I've got, I haven't got all day. Cl cl click it.